Hello, I'm Retro Futura, one of the members of the crowdsourcing team working on the exciting history of energy patents. In 2015, we decided to use collective intelligence to revive these forgotten inventions. You know, those little known stories, like the one about the world's first electric car created by Gustave Trouvé in 1881. Or the solar printer developed in 1882 that concentrated solar energy in order to print thousands of newspapers. Or Nikola Tesla's wireless electric transmission system from 1888. There is also the first thermal solar panel, sold for only $25 and mass-produced in 1891 in the United States. How could we forget the first Porsche, born in 1898, which, as you know, was electric. And much like Thomas Edison's, which in 1902 had 1,000 miles of autonomy. Then there were the farmers in France who drove a hydrogen-powered truck after the Second World War. And also Jean-Luc Perrier, who in 1979 produced hydrogen with a homemade solar energy concentrator in order to run his car without polluting. Or even Karl Kordesch's alkaline battery charger in 1981, which recharged single-use batteries. This is why, in 2018, after four years of research, we gathered all of our discoveries in the book Retro Future, a counter-history of energy innovations. The book was prefaced by the pioneer and adventurer Bertrand Piccard, who was the first person to travel around the world in an airplane entirely powered by solar energy. Following the success of the book in France, it was translated and published in Japanese, and now we are working on an English version. We need your help. We are always looking for new inventions, and you certainly know some. Send them to us, win books, or contribute what you can to help our book launch take off. Without further ado, we invite you to participate and share this journey back in time to revive promising patents that have fallen into the cracks and are just waiting to resurface as solutions to our contemporary energy transition.